We all know the craze that WhatsApp and Viber caused over the years. But have you heard of Vuga and Nyata? For Cedric and Patrick, students who majored in fine arts and electronic engineering, having locally developed apps seemed like the way to go, as this would help more local people to use these apps. You know, we've seen, we've seen a lot of apps like WhatsApp and Viper. So we're like, if we develop our own, our own apps, which are in Kinyaranda, we can get a lot of people to use them. So what inspired me, what really inspired me to do these apps is really wanted to develop something which can even can easily be seen by the Rwandans. That's uh, the first thing it's in Kinyaranda. So any local people can use it. Because you can find just a local people and you give him photo grid. He cannot easily know how to function photo grid, but in Yatsa it's more easy and simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Since they started working on these apps about five years ago, for these entrepreneurs, it is still difficult to run their business as they hardly have any capital to work with and have had to depend on their family support to develop these apps, a problem that most entrepreneurs are facing at the moment. For these two, however, having to work at the National Library of Rwanda seems to be working to their advantage as they say it has helped them to meet various people whom they have educated about the apps and have slowly gotten them to use and spread the word about the apps. So what should we expect from them in the future? We want to, we want to create more unique apps after, after these apps, after we have launched them. Well, looks like another day, another app. The running nude are definitely taking over. Karangwa Fidelis, Rise and Shine Rwanda.